Hi, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars Darth Maul Mythos statue from Sideshow. Now, the statue itself is a beautiful looking statue from the images that I've seen online. They've obviously got the art box that comes in here. I'm really digging the whole imagery on the box itself. So we'll take a look at the contents of the box. So inside the box, it all comes in one box, which is really good because for storing the boxes themselves, once you've got the statue on display, it can sometimes take up a lot of space when they come in multiple boxes. But I like the fact that this just comes in one box. Now, the statue itself, as you can see here, um, I've taken the plastic wrapping off it so you can get a better sort of look at where the pieces go within the box and the details on it as well. So we'll get to assembling this. So now we're going to start to assemble the statue itself. So first off, you want to start with the base. Now the base does have a good bit of weight to it. I like how you've got Emperor Palpatine's statue there that's obviously been destroyed and you've got the jump effects there from Darth Maul himself. And I like how in it as well they've got the foot imprint as well from his toes. Now this is number 813 of 4500. I like as well on the base where you've got the the full on print there of the Darth Maul statue and you've got on there obviously the Sideshow logo, Star Wars Mythos. So we'll pop that straight down. Then we're going to start with the figure body itself. Now the body itself isn't overall massively weighty which is good. You've got quite a lot of detail on the legs there. I really like the paint application on this as well i like the fact that on the body as well you've also got the the red and the black of obviously darth maul and how on it you've also got the like the the what the bands around his abs as well so we'll we'll pop that straight into its position there and that just slides straight in then we want to start with the back skirt first it's obviously the larger piece. I like how on this as well, you've also got the texture on it. It doesn't actually weigh a lot, which is really good. That way it will prevent a statue from leaning. Now the pieces themselves have got magnets in them to allow them to clip straight in. So we'll pop that straight in there. And that's held into position there. Then we want to start with the next piece, which goes onto the left side. Quite a lot of detail in this. I like the phone motion on it. It really adds to the figure itself. Statue, sorry. Then we'll start with the front skirt as well. That just goes straight in. And as you can see there, the statue itself is already starting to take shape and it's given the dynamic pose of the Darth Maul himself. And then you take the dual ended lightsaber. I like this really much. Um, I like how on the lightsaber effect it's well as as well it's done uh, they haven't just done complete resin and then painted it it's actually it looks like it's acrylic quite a lot of detail in that piece itself you've then got the other arm for the right hand a lot of detail there we'll just bring that a bit close to the camera so you can see there quite a lot of detail in that little piece pop that straight on now, the statue itself comes with two heads. So you've got your choice of which one you want. You've obviously got the one that just looks without the horn sticking out completely. And then the more vicious one. I kind of like this one more. So we'll, we'll put that one in, but we'll also show you how it looks with both of them. So as you can see there, we've got the statue assembled. Now we'll see, I'll move this along. I'll see if my turntable is going to work, whether it's spinning or not. Yeah, there we go. As you can see there, a full 360. We'll zoom in so you can get some of the details. As you can see there, complete overlook of the, the statue itself. Now I do like on the statue how it seems to be supported by just the one leg 
then that way it adds more to the dynamic pose of the statue itself rather than it being completely sort of lent up against something or having both feet on the ground. It just makes it look a much better statue. Really like this. Now we'll, uh, we'll put the other head in now. We'll just turn off the turntable. Now the head itself, just swap that out. I'll turn that back on. Now for me, I like the first head a lot more because it just adds a bit more bulk to it and more um, ferociousness compared to the smaller head, but either one of them look really good. I like the fact that for all it's just a regular statue, it's not like a exclusive um, sort of statue that you do get both heads with it. So it's nice to have a bit of swap and alternative with it. So overall, great looking statue, really pleased to add this to my collection. So if you've liked this video, feel free to leave some comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the statue as well. And feel free to like and subscribe the video and check out our Facebook page where we post not only statue videos, but also one six scale videos as well from not only Hot Toys, but other companies as well. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.